Uh, I'd like to chime in. Go ahead, sir. Brian Lang, Lime, Ohio, LiveTruthRadio.com. God bless you all for what you're doing. We all have to have each other's backs. Uh, we got to do what we got to do to reclaim America. That's the bottom line. You all are great patriots. Don't have this be a pissing contest. Work together. We're all Americans. We'll see you all. So we have to Another do it time. now. We have to do it now. Or it's going to be too late. Good luck. Can I have a second of y'all time? Yes, sir. Okay. My biggest deal is, and the reason that we are not deploying as of right now, is because there's a lot of conflicting intel. Even with boots on the ground, there's a lot of conflicting intel. Intel is the game. Without information, we don't move. I'm not sending my guys in without the information. See, you know, I understand your point of view. I really do. Um, however, uh, sometimes you just have to have faith. Because, you know, I mean, you know, this situation is not uh, normal or uh, doesn't make any sense, really. Should never have happened in the first place. Um, you don't want to send your people in. Well, that's cool. Then don't send them. Um, if you feel like you're a patriot, and that you love your country, and that you support the Constitution, and uh, you want your children to have a better life than you have had, then actually, to be honest, you should have blindly sent your people in. Um, okay, is what I'm getting at. Is there, there, is, there, is no, there is no place to set up the things that you're asking for until you get out there and report to the commander on site then okay, those things can be set up. Let me, let me make a suggestion. Negative. We've got protesters on site. We know we've got confirmed sniper teams. Can, can anybody start trying to put an attack map together? Well, no, we don't really need an attack map. What we need to do is we need to go out there and we need to, uh, you know, uh, uh, talk with the family because the family knows the train better than anybody else. And they'll put us where we need to be. Okay. But Can I make a do they know on... the location of the perches and stuff is, is what I'm getting at. I, I'm not going to send guys walking down the road because when the militia shows up in force, it's going to be a threat. Nobody's going to nobody's going to show up walking down the road anywhere. Um, you report to the that, property that owned simply. by the people that were there to defend. And uh, you uh, stay on their property and defend it. It's uh, you're not going to have to do patrols. You're not going to have to do any shit like that. Okay, this is just a matter of of us going there and uh, standing against the people who are trying to take out this family who don't deserve it. It's not like we, you know. I mean, it's it's not it's not like what you're thinking. It's not like a it's not like a Vietnam scenario or some other scenario. We're going to have comp- patrols out on the road where, you know, uh, you're going to have conflicts with military or, uh, you know, government officials. This is a standoff, which is where, you know, uh, you have all of your armaments, all of your uh, things set in a certain place, and you're just holding them back. Now, we're not trying to make an offensive here. This is Sorry, Ken, Ken, I'm Can I ask what a he's question? Saying, brother, what he's saying, brother, is kind of like us protecting the president. That's pretty much what we do. We are protecting the family. And I get that. I do 100%. And I'm 100% on board for that. But we don't need to send every able body straight into the ranch. No, but, however... If each no, group, why don't you send half? You have to think about the send half. What, 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 Not even half. half. If, if, if each militia across this country sends a handful, maybe half is all they is, is a handful. Maybe that's all they've got. Send them there. Then they can have a chance to have their own eyes and ears and trusted people on the ground reporting back to them what's going on. Then they can know. I hear a lot of militias, and I understand that they want to defend their own states. 
And I hear a lot of militia saying they've got to defend their own families, and that's very true. And every single militia should already have a thing set up where their families all go to a grouped area or maybe multiple grouped areas where they can be secured in a shit hit the fan scenario. Those militias that are going to wait until, say, the feds decide they're going to go hostile. And uh, I don't mean, like, just being bullies, but I mean hot. And yeah, then I, they say, I, oh, I, well, they're going hot. It's time for me to roll. Well, I'm going to tell you what. If you're more than 100 miles from there, it's too late for you to roll because by the time you get there, especially like in my case in Tulsa, Oklahoma, if I wait for them to go hot and I roll that 1,300 miles, I got to cross host- potential hostile territory just to get there. To, maybe it's over by the time I get there. Or maybe the numbers are going to be I am already better. concerned about the 1,200 miles. And, and the federal hostile. government looks. If we show up in force and the federal government looks and sees that we're willing to come together in force and we can just use that as a standoff and have a Mexican standoff and they back off, then they're going to think about it before they continue. And then if the people there say, okay, hey, you know what, we won this battle. Let's go over there at Red River. Let's roll over that direction. Let's do the same thing. Let's push them back. Let's let them know that we're not just going to show up, do our thing, and then go home and feel better about ourselves and eat our kudos and our cookies and our milk and sleep at night. We're going to move on to the next yes, We want our freaking country back. You're absolutely correct, and that's exactly the way it's going to work, if it's going to work at all. We have to go there, and we have to make a stand. There's multiple other places going on in the southwest where the exact same situation is occurring. We have to go to this place, make a stand. Then we can go to the other places, make a stand. We have to stand up against the government. If we do not make the government back down, they're going to fuck us in the ass every day forever. Amen. And it's going to get worse and worse and worse. It's never going to get better till we fix it. We're the only ones that can fix it. Now, Sir, I'd like to nobody else can fix it. The leader of this conversation. That would be Brian. That would be Brian. Uh, Brian, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. Hey, and, and what is your name, man? This is Polar. Polar? Polar Assault. Okay. Uh, I understand how everybody wants to up and at the ready leave their post and haul ass. <laughs> yeah. And what that does, and the whole thing I'm saying, you know, it's it's not to try and downplay anything of what everybody's saying about taking up in arms and going and fighting the good fight. But at the same time, once that's done, once that first shot heard around the world is happening, your home front is jeopardized. And I'm not talking about just your house. I'm talking about your militia. Okay? And once that starts... Your rally points and all that stuff are jeopardized. Excuse That's what me. I don't want to see happen. That's what I don't want to see happen uh, uh, with all of my fellow patriots. Hey, uh, Brian, I'm, I'm sorry, back. sir. I'm sorry, sir. I must say that that is exactly what needs to happen. Uh, it's the exact look, you know, I didn't. Of, hey, man, you spoke for a long time, and I didn't interrupt you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and I you apologize. Know? Thank you. See, that's that's where Have the same word. team comes in. You know, same team. We are all on the same team. And it would it would be my honor to just pack up and leave everything and go defend Mr. Bundy and his family. But at the same time, once once it starts and it's on, if I leave my fortification then me trying to get back here to help out more lives are going to be lost. And that's what I want to just bring to the table, to just make sure I can that see everybody and understand understands I can see. that when we, when we have this gumption and we say, okay, this is serious, because it is. It is very serious. I can, I can see and understand your point of view. And uh, the reason that I don't have to share that point of view, because my kids are grown. I'm an old guy. Okay, well, I'm, I'm an, an old, old guy too. You know, and my kids aren't grown. 
but I'm yeah, not my talking kids about are grown. Um, I'm talking about my militia and my brothers and sisters in my militia. My militia, and my brothers and sisters, are the American Legion riders in Indianapolis, post sixty four right. Indianapolis. Those are my brothers and sisters, and uh, and if we're everybody all veterans, can't make we're it, we're all veterans. If, if we're everybody all veterans. can't make it to Nevada, and then something really bad happens, and you're responsible to get back and take care of. Your brothers and sisters, six. And they end up getting wiped out because the feds say, okay, militia has stood up, and now they've done, ran all their people out here, and we can just put a, put a bomb on them. You know? My opinion differs in this respect. If I don't go and make a stand, if I don't, do what is right, then it none of the rest of anything else you said matters. I, bro, look, I understand it and I completely agree because you're going to have to live with yourself if something really bad happens and you don't do what you feel that you need to do. All I'm saying, look at the situation, weigh it out, and make sure that if you do go, you're not leaving someone behind that you're going to come back to that's not going to be there, you know? To me, it's really simple. It's you have to do what's right. No matter what the consequence, you have to do what's right. What's right for me to do by my children is to be an honorable man, to live the Constitution, and to fight for it. Well, That's fact, this eight. is Freebird. I'd like to chime in whenever I can. Uh, please, by all means, man. I haven't heard from you in a, in a minute. Uh, if you guys don't mind, can I get Me. Freebird at the table? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. The gentleman that was talking about his militia, can you identify yourself? Uh, Me? Yes. Yes, this is Brian. Brian, and what state are you from? Louisiana. Right. Dirty, the dirty other, south, buddy. The other, the other gentleman, I believe, is uh, from Indianapolis. Is that right? Yes. Uh, my name is Jay Cook. I'm from mm-hmm. Indianapolis, Indiana. Thank I'm you. not a member of a militia. I am uh, well, a member of the American Legion here. I'm an American okay. Legion rider. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a patriot. And um, I, I appreciate that. Let me, let me address that just for a moment. And please don't take this as any form of disrespect but i've been around in this movement a long long time i've got roots that well, somebody back says that up front before. don't Let take this with... as a as a well you know well, as, as, are you going to continue uh, okay. to interrupt Go, me or sir, will you, i'm, I'm will you sorry calm down enough no, thank no, you, no sir thank no, sir. you no sir I've absolutely been given you the ahead. floor i would appreciate if you'd adhere to that yes please. sir yes okay, sir what, what i'm saying to you is this gentleman is part of a of a constitutional state militia. You've already admitted here that you're not a member of a militia. You're a member of the Legion Riders. Those are two different, totally, types of organizations here. No, absolutely. uh, What the purpose of this call was for was to call together militias from all over the country to the Lango tactic. Mm, I'm sorry. I thought it was to call patriots together. I'm sure there's a lot of patriots, there's a lot of people it was sent out to, but in defense of the gentleman from Louisiana, and, and please understand this point, when you do something as serious as calling out a state militia, it doesn't matter whether it's a mutual aid situation, you're going into another state or not, that's a serious thing. You don't do that on a whim. It's not about protesting and going down there and holding somebody's hand. When a militia shows up, A transgression has or should have occurred, and you're coming in there to break shit if necessary. Now, all I've heard so far... Excuse me, sir. Wait, 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 wait. Sir, wait one moment, please. One moment, please, and I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. However, you're interrupting. However, let me finish. uh, You know, uh, I said that I'm getting in my car and I'm driving down there for exactly what you just said. Brian, you got to get control of this call, dude. It's this type of shit that's going to get people. Sir, 
I, Please, I, I say, don't Brian, interrupt I, this I man. Just right. let him speak. He let yes. you speak the and whole speak. time, and then he... Will I be allowed to speak, to speak at the end, though, please? Oh, absolutely. All right, everybody but, chill oh, one second. Right. Look, 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 look. We'll Indiana, we love you. you uh, Freebird's got his the feather in his hand. This is my call, and, and you've had a very large portion of time to talk. Um, I appreciate your feedback, but you really need to go ahead and let the man speak. I, I, you... you no, Please. no, 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 no. Thank yes, you. I am. I'm sorry. I apologize. Let him speak. Thank you. Thank Freebird, you. go ahead. Please do not chime in again, sir. Okay, thank no, you. No, I will not. What I'm saying to you is, is malicious train and organize and have logistics far different from a Patriot Motorcycle Rider Club or a Three Percenters Support Group or an Oath Keepers Group. Okay, these people... All I've heard so far is report to some guy named Ryan Payne in Nevada, and then you'll get the information you need. That cannot happen, folks. You cannot travel thousands of miles and then find out that you brought the wrong shit or you don't have the right support tactics or you don't have the right uh, equipment. You've got to know information and logistics up front before you can afford to up and uproot your group and move to another state for mutual aid. There has to be channels of communications open from those people. If Ryan Payne is the uh, mediator or liaison between the Nevada militia, then he needs to be able to put these groups in touch with those people and get logistical intel and information before these groups uproot their ass and take it thousands of miles to a state they don't know what they're walking into. That's what this guy is trying to say, folks. And you're Freebird. trying to sit there and say, I'm, you know, more or less all I've heard is you want to be a martyr. You know, That's right. we all want to stand up for this country. We want to stand up for these people and our rights. But don't go in there and just say, well, I'm willing to die for it, and I'm going to stand up front and get shot at. Do it in a smart way. I mean, nobody wants to kill anybody. Nobody wants to die in this situation. And it doesn't have to be that way. Over. Yeah. Freebird. Thank you. Is it my turn yet? What 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 is your name, sir? Freebird. Yes, sir. Uh, no, I'm with, no, I'm with the Washington of Cook. America. Uh, may, may I? Speak I, I didn't catch or... you. You were getting interrupted. I'm sorry. What is your name I, again? I, I call sign. My name is Freebird. Jay Cook. Jay okay, Cook James. From uh, Freebird. I'm from Watchmen of America. Go ahead, sir. I, when it's man, time for I me to really, speak, I will speak. Until I, then, I, I won't say. Really. Tell you. I really appreciate the way you stated that because it made perfect sense. It's words of my heart, and uh, it, it's exactly what I'm trying to convey. And Mr. James, you know, I I think you are very very much a patriot, and I hope you understand that we're all on the same team here. Otherwise, we wouldn't be on this conference call, and we just have to be. We have to be diligent in every move that we make. Just like Absolutely just doubt. like just like Freebird said. You know, you you want to go out there to the front line and get shot, you know, that that's not doing your country any good. Yeah, if you uh, want to get out there and you want to get proactive and you want to do something that's I'm not proactive. saying that's what I want to do. Nobody wants I'm to saying do that. that and, I'm and willing I'm just to saying, and of course we're willing to do that. But if it has to come to that, then that means we have not done our job as far as getting down to business with I think the that, situation. I think that maybe you guys have uh, you know, misconstrued, maybe just a little bit, what my actual position is. Maybe misunderstood, okay. but not misconstrued. Yeah, maybe misunderstood. Nobody's, nobody's, nobody's um, turned your words. You know, and, and uh, we 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 started a militia here in Southern Indiana three years ago. Uh, we worked on the militia for several years, and it ended up kind of falling apart. Okay, that happened. I was a member of that militia. We let it fall to the wayside. It just didn't work out. Um, I found a much, uh, you know, I, I found a much better group through the American Legion, the American Legion Riders. And, uh, you know, that's what we do. We support our veterans. We support our Constitution. Uh, that's what we live for. That's what we do. That's um, good stuff. We got your back, Myself man. personally, 
myself personally, um, I believe in the Constitution without a doubt. And you, you I mean, you, you know, you, you said, oh, uh, you want to be a martyr. I don't want to be a martyr. I, I mean, who that. wants to be a martyr? Um, uh, what I was trying to say basically is, is I am willing to die for my cause, for the Constitution. I'm a soldier just like anyone else. Uh, I'm not trying to be in charge of anything or, you know, I, I don't even want to be in charge of anything. I just, yeah. bottom line is this. Um, I believe in the Constitution and no matter what, I'm going to stand up for it. Uh, I will always, always, no matter what, under any circumstances, protect someone weaker than me. And I will always be there for my people. And that's the bottom line. And that's what I see going on, going on here in Nevada. These people need our help. Okay? These people are being fucked over and I agree with that. screwed by the government. And uh, in my opinion, that is totally, absolutely unacceptable. And I am willing to sacrifice my own time, my own money, uh, even my life to defend that. So, I mean, if that makes me a dickhead or an asshole, I, I don't know. Whatever, there's that's nobody. Cool. There's nobody in this conversation that 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 would consider you a dickhead or an asshole because. Well, it's, actually, it's I'm kind of a dickhead and an asshole a lot of. Well, time. hey, dude, I'm the biggest <laughs> dickhead I've ever met. You know, <laughs> but but seriously, you know. Uh, Shit, I bought a 500 Smith & Smith and Wesson Magnum yesterday. That makes it because they're right to be an asshole. <laughs> we, we all, as militia, all as legion and everything like that, we all need to understand one thing about ourselves, and we're all willing to die for our cause. You know, and we're and that's, that's all that I've been trying hold on, to convey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're a lot more efficient if we live for our cause. Yep. Wouldn't you think? And yep. and you said you 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 die protecting somebody weaker than you. Why not? You know the thing that's funny about why that. Why not spend is your effort making the person that is weaker than you stronger, so where that no, they are a no, formidable force. I don't disagree with that, but that's not the situation we're talking no. about. The no, situation we're, we're talking, talking about, about is a rancher in Nevada who's already strong. His family's right. already strong, and they're not going to lay know, the fuck you know down. He's got? he's got a bunch of people coming to his aid, a bunch of strong people. that's all I'm trying to talk about. A bunch of strong people willing to stand up and stand up in the right fashion. You know, if, if we go now, out there I, acting as... I'm sorry militia. if I came across like some kind of crazy asshole. No, you didn't. going to run out there and hide in the de- desert and like fucking snipe people from the hills. Sorry well, if, hell, I came if you're, if you're anything like way. me, you've probably been drinking beer tonight, you know? And no. it, it probably kind of, you know, sways your judgment a little bit, but it's still... No, I'm not drinking beer, and uh, my judgment is not swayed. Um, well, I see the situation in Nevada be. as absolutely, totally, completely unacceptable, and it needs to be stopped under... No matter what it takes, it needs to be stopped and taken care we of. Are we can no longer we can no longer submit to this kind of tyranny in government. We just can't. If we don't tired. make our stand now, it's going to be too late. That's all. We I'm are say. very, very tired. And in that being tired, it's time for us to make a stand. Well, but and we that's have to all make I'm a stand saying is where we don't look like the crazy people. M- Mr. Yeah. Freebird, Mr. Cook, may I interject, please? Yes, sir. Uh, my name is Eric Ron. I am the chairman of the United American Militia Advisory Council, and I represent um, every constitutional militia commander in this country. And I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt, that as a constitutional militia commander myself, I support the Bundy family in protecting their 9th, 10th, 
11th, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th, and all the way up to all the amendments in the Constitution. And there's a fine line between needing to stay home to protect your family and going out there to support them. I see both sides of you, and you are both correct. Just My family's not threatened here. Oh, stop, sir. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I apologize. You have, to un- you have to understand that there's a fine line, and we all walk the same we're all walking down the same road. You know, we're, we're, we're just in different areas of the path, and we all, we all are in different areas. We're in different parts of that. So in order to accomplish our mission, we, we all need to respect each other. We need to try to understand each other, try to be more diplomatic with each other. Listen, guys, I, I'm, a, I'm a Desert Storm vet. I know what war looks like. I've smelled rotten, burning flesh. Highway of Death, if you don't know what that is, look it up on Wikipedia, okay? I know exactly what it is. I was... Sir, please, stand down. Thank you. As I was saying, I've smelled rotten, burning flesh. I've, I've held my buddy and watched him die. I've been talking to a, uh, a, my best friend and wore him as a bullet passed through his skull. Now, I know, gentlemen, I know that you love your country, and I know you care, okay? But please, learn how to work together, because if we don't learn how to work together, gentlemen, we're going to... We're going to fall apart. Amen. Yes, sir. Yeah. We're going to yes, fall sir. apart, guys. Now, listen. Yes, you hear the shaking in my voice? It's because I fear for my family and I fear for you all. Yes, sir. I know what it looks like, and I promise you, as I swear on my dead grandmother's grave as I stand here, that I could pull the trigger on whatever I need whatever threat I need to, but I don't want to. I don't want that. And none of you should either. But we have to do our constitutional duty. We have to stand up. Where's the line, gentlemen? Where do we draw the line? Thank you, Eric. Yes, sir. I'm done. Keep it it together, soldier. Thank you, brother. We appreciate we appreciate what you've done. I'm very passionate about what I believe. Y'all hit me up on Facebook, um, Eric C. Ron. My URL is uh, facebook.com forward slash Eric Ron H. Hit me up on Facebook, guys. If you need something. All you got to do is ask. I'm here. I'm a servant of the people. I just, I'm just here to help. That's all I'm here for. God put well, me in this. We're, we're, listen, we're getting along, you know, and everybody has differing opinions and everything, and we just have to slow down. We have to be That's diligent. right. That's right. We got to right. work You're together. Right. We just no, have... no, that's absolutely correct. We need to slow to... down, chill out, be cool-headed, yeah. make intelligent decisions. We, we you have go, to you go in a, running in guns a blazing and acting like a fool. No, that that that, that will make it worse. And wow. and, and unfortunately, make, that's what they're going to do. Explain this to them. What, what happens when you have an equal force show up? What is what is the government going to do? Well, uh, they, they have uh, when you have force on force, force guys. Yeah. Uh, what's going to happen? They're going to bring in more. Yeah. They have yeah, we far have more equipment. Kill us. They have far more equipment than they'll kill us. Than than we have. That's understood. That is I mean, real deal. Maybe Intel reports of DHS, and this is Chris from Alabama, uh, former Iraq vet. Uh, and I've been listening for a couple of hours and listening to everything go back and forth, but. 
I mean, you put 300 militia on the ground, they're going to bring in 500. Right. See a company with a thousand, a thousand, yeah. maybe yeah. more like a thousand. They're gonna have Apaches in there. They're gonna call out the Nevada State Guards, which the, the governor does not control. The federal government controls. I mean, it takes one trigger happy person to start a war. Well, sir, you said you were an Iraq, a, Iraq veteran. Yeah. Okay, and. And what branch? Army Guard. Okay. And I take it the fact that you're in on this phone call, you would not fire on your fellow Americans. If not. if if you were in in uh duty I take it you would not no. fire on your fellow Americans. I would on an unconstitutional government, yes, if I had to, but that's the last thing you want to happen. Because well, this is another thing for the political bullshit. Gun control, militias, uh, everything. They're going to come down like a damn swarm of bees. I mean, one round, one trigger happy person that's not in line with command. Whoever commands there should be in command with the governor. Should be telling Larry, them what's going on. Somebody really in my opinion, they've already stepped across that line. Well, they probably have, but you if you cross that line, it's going to get bloody. It ain't going to be, you well, know. Yeah, I know it's going to be bloody. It'd be like, uh, I mean, you're talking about, a, <laughs> no, I, I've been through Fallujah. It's going to be shitty. Yeah, I was it's, there. I mean, I know. I mean, you know, well, I know I, it's going to be shitty. I know it's going to be a fucking mess, but I mean, it's, it's, it, it, it's there's no other way. Well, I really, know, really think. I mean, if you put an equal force on the ground, it's going to double on the other side. It's going to double with aircraft and everything else. Yeah, I'm thinking, that makes perfect sense. That makes absolute perfect sense. And that may but be the, the fact of the matter, but as the fact of the matter, once that trigger is pulled, I think yeah. somebody's standing side by side with the feds. You know how it's going to work out? The trigger's going to be pulled, it's going to be on the opposing side, and it's going to get blamed on somebody from the Bundy, the, the, the Clive and Bundy's, right. Bundy's ranch, and then the, the media's going to blow it up into, well, some not job damn militias, and that's the reason we need to ban assault rifles and all this and that, and that's going to blow up into a shit storm. Right, I mean, and, and think if, a, if you were I'm under not, order. If you were under order and you were on those grounds to just basically police the joint, Somebody and they said, "Okay, me. it's time Somebody to fire." Popped a round off. Somebody popped the round off. Somebody accidentally discharged a round in the air, tripping, and people's going to start firing. Gentlemen, okay. if I could interject. Go ahead. This is Specialist Marcus asking for duty and for good. Um, I don't know if it's because of the recent uh, happenings here, but I have not heard anything from the chain that anyone is moving out in that direction. As far as I know, it's other agencies, the military is staying out of it at this point. And I do have a question for Eric, if he's still on the line. I, I am, sir. Eric. Okay. Um, I have a question for you, seeing as how you're the chairman of the uh, whatever it was. And um, basically, what is your advice for active duty soldiers in, you know, obviously we can't mobilize out there, but what, what is it that we can do from our, our post? That is a very good question, soldier. Um, my best advice to you is be constitutional. Um, if at this point in time, I mean, you have a chain of command. You have to follow your command. I understand that. Okay. Do not follow unconstitutional orders. I, cool. I don't know what else to tell you. Don't follow unconstitutional orders. If they still, if they start telling you that they're going to deploy you in the middle of wherever, and that they're going to tell you to fire on you, uh, 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 Your brothers. American civilians don't don't do it. 
I mean, if you want to go out there, that's fine and show up. But uh, at some point, you're probably going to have to switch sides. I know that's not what you really want to hear, but that's the truth. I know that's tough, guys. <laughs> I know that was tough to hear. It was tough to say. It's a but very tough situation. It, it is what it is, gentlemen. What, what do you want me to tell you? you? You want me to put a little sugar on the donut and tell you, oh, it's going to be okay? Because it's not. It's not. It's not going to be okay, guys. We're, we're, we're right there. We're, we're, we're there. I don't, you know what? If I'm wrong, guys, I promise you, I will get back on a national call and say, you know what? I was wrong, okay? And I'll, I would love to be wrong. But I've been watching this since I got out of the field. Um, what is today? Thursday night, since Wednesday afternoon, because I was actually out on FTX. Call back to this, and I, I'm telling you, this, this is bad. This is real bad. They don't call the chairman out of the field for nothing. Okay? This, I'm, I'm done. Say something to the other vets. That is here in this Go ahead. Room, I want I want to say thank you for your service. I mean, you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Thank you can't say enough. You know what I'm saying. We are here, y'all was out there. You know, you know, risking y'all lives for us. Thank you. Our service ain't over with yet, more than likely, but we got to be smart about it. You no, know, that's my opinion, and I mean. Uh, don't be. We don't need trigger happy people that want to prove a point and think this is the time. That's not what this is. Show of force, I agree with 100 percent. Be prepared, 100 percent. Have everything you need: tents, food, clothing for the environment, weapons, whatever you need. You pop a round off, and you're gonna start a war. That's that's, that's what's not gonna be pretty, fellas. That that and and ladies too, if ladies are listening in, that's going to be the part that really sparks the exact moment that we are worried about. You know, and that's that not that's that knot in our stomach that we all have that it, makes. Do, us, um, is it okay if I interject a minute? Catherine, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I just. I just wanted to say I just have a concern about agent provocateurs starting something. You know, a little Cointel Pro going on where they start it, just, and then it looks like you did it. <laughs> yeah, that actually uh, came up a couple times a little bit. Um, you know, we always kind of kind of keep an eye out for our agitators and hotheads, but then again, you've got guys that are just doing that because it's their nature, and then you guys that are doing it because they're getting paid to do it. And you're right. We need to definitely keep an eye out for that, those kind of people. I was well, really I'm, interested I'm, to hear. Yeah. My prayers are with you guys. Yeah. It, uh, it, I was interested. Are we all aware of how many people are going to be on the ground over the next 24 to 36 hours? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So we're looking at about what I'm getting is 100 to 200 militiamen from various states. That, that's an accurate number, sir. All right. And we anticipate... Force on force, 